Hey everybody, today I wanted to um, talk a little bit about uh, the latest book I'm reading. Um, there is a, a businessman, his name is Alex Ramosi, and this guy knows his stuff. Um, I feel like anyone, it doesn't matter how successful you are with business or marketing, you need to constantly be learning. So I've been skimming through his, um, his new book, and in his first um, chapter, he's talking about lead magnets. And I always talk to small town business owners, and I mention you don't want to sell your product, your service, you want to sell a lead magnet. Basically all that is, it's a little sample of what you do um, that gets them to, uh, to trust you and to get a little bit of a taste or you know, feeling for what your service, your business really is. And it gives them the confidence to actually pay for you know, your main services, your main products. So the, the chapter lead magnets talked about three different kinds of lead magnets. And I think it's important to go over that in this video. Um, there are three different ways that you can make your lead magnet. Um, first way is you need to give a um, free sample of the actual service product. So basically what you could do um, is you could have someone, an example, I, I worked with a bookkeeper before, we did a lead magnet like this to where we gave them one month free bookkeeping services. And at the end of that, when they figured out that they did great work, it was easy, the owner didn't have to fool with the bookkeeping, they, they opted in to have the service every single month. So that's one way you can do a lead magnet is um, just have them try the actual uh, product or service. And that's good for businesses where it's a continuity type service or product where they have to keep buying from you. Um, another type of lead magnet is a lead magnet that makes them aware of the problem. So we do that in one of my businesses, it's a physical therapy business. So people come in for a free discovery visit, which is basically where our PTs will assess the back and determine what's the problem that's leading to their back pain and what's the different exercises or massages that they can do to fix it. So it, it introduces to that problem to them and then they can um, then uh, be aware of it and be able to buy the solution, which is the visits, the treatment visits afterwards. And then the final type of lead magnet is one where it's a step of the actual um, core offer. So it's a, a step of it. It's not the whole thing, it's a piece of it. So a great example of that is actually with this consulting business. I work with a lot of small town business owners and um, one way we do that is, if you go to my site at arnandsisson.com, there is a report, a free report, and it lays out how you can create a value ladder, which is a way to get more customers, to lay out the structure of your business to get more profits. And it's one of the first things you need to do when you're starting a marketing program. So uh, owners will get that, they'll see, they'll get a little bit of help from that, then they'll wanna buy our marketing masterclass and get the rest of that solution. Um, so any one of those three type of lead magnets are a great start for any business that sells anything over $50. Um, because it's not an impulse buy at that price range, you want to um, have customers get to know you first, build a little bit of value before they actually start buying. So that's it for today. Uh, feel free to check, that book, check out that book by Alex. Um, it is definitely a great read.